Reenslavement and Rescue, 1710 to 1717. In 1710, the younger sister of the Rogers family, Elizabeth Beebe, sued her siblings. She claimed that their late mother had given Joan to her. Elizabeth and her husband Samuel Beebe won the case. Pregnant with her seventh child, Joan and her youngest son, Jack, were awarded by the court to the Beebes of Long Island, New York, and returned to slavery. The court also declared that Joan had not been free at the time of the births of Abner, Hannah, and Peter. So they became enslaved by John Rogers' son, John Jr. John Jackson remained free, working for his former enslaver, John Rogers, across Long Island Sound from Joan. During Joan's re-enslavement, their daughter Rachel was born. By law, she was also enslaved by the Beebe family. John Jackson did not accept the re-enslavement of his family. In the early hours of May 29, 1711, he took a small boat across Long Island Sound with the help of John Rogers. They rescued Joan, Jack, and Rachel, taking them from the Beebs and hiding them around Groton, Connecticut. Samuel Beeb hunted them down and returned them to New London, Connecticut. John Jackson fought Samuel Beeb in court, but he was unsuccessful. The Beebs then sold Joan, Jack, and Rachel to John Livingston of New London, Connecticut. To be near his wife and youngest children, John Jackson hired himself to the Livingstons. A year later, Rachel died. She was not yet two years old. Soon after, Joan gave birth to another child, Jerry. In January 1714, John Livingston took Joan and her baby Jerry to the Boston slave market. He sold them to John Stone of Framingham, Massachusetts. Livingston then sold Jack to Winslow Tracy of Norwich, Connecticut. Separated from his family once again, John Jackson took his case to the Massachusetts court, fighting for Joan's freedom and the reunification of his family. 